meet again. Welcome back to, I guess this is part 19, isn't it? Not a guess on it, I should know. Um, part 19. Um, what we're going to do in this one is we are going to sort out um, a gate here. But I think, first of all, I would like to start getting a bit of decoration on the walls. So let's start with this one, the second floor. And if we tab into edit mode, we might as well turn off um, the subdivision surface in the viewport. And we're just going to look at a way of extruding something. So there's lots of these. If we look at the... Um, why won't you let me out of edit mode? Um, where's the reference? there so if you see there's all these bits and blocks and bits and bits so we want to try and get some of them onto the wall so to do that we're going to do some simple bangs so we'll start here if we just put a loop cut by that one um, like that I suppose yeah and then we'll select this face and we'll switch the axis or, or um, what's it called? Transformation point. Or it's transformation orientation. Try and say that 10 times fast. So we want to switch that to local so the, the, axis is, the axes are now local to this um, face. So let's press E, extrude it, and we're going to want to move it down on the Z axis, so GZ, so that it's the top, oh, turn um, proportional editing off with O if you've already got it on. Uh, right, control Z, control Z. I didn't see that one. I forgot about that one. And I forgot about that one. <laughs> Take these three, not just the middle one, that was silly of me. Then extrude. <coughs> and then um, we'll bring that down, GZ so that we get a kind of parallel top that's nice and matched that looks about right maybe up a little bit more gz and hold shift okay and now we've got to find the axis that's going to allow us to rotate it so the top goes towards there and the bottom stays there so ry nope rx kind of rz none of them None of them. Active element. RY. <laughs> okay. I've got another idea. Select these four and then just press GG. Don't do that. Um, press G. Where's the GY? Just, yeah, and then GX. Just line it up any old way you can. Any way you can. Just, just line it up. Okay. So that's one, and then we'll do um, a couple of loop cuts in the middle. And then we'll take just this face and extrude it inwards. Just press E and drag it in. And there we go. We now have one. We're, we're going to most likely need to Q project again after we're done, which means we'll have to edit the UVs very quickly, but just scaling. So, yeah, and then just pick points to do that on, you know. Do another one. So do that. Um, select these three faces. Press E to extrude. And um, bring it down on the Z so that it's nice and smooth and parallel. And then we got it. I mean, you, the other way to do is just go into uh, top view and then just do it like that. That's probably the easiest. And pressing G, Y, G, X. And trying to find out which axis you're actually on. Okay. And oh, 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 lost it. Another couple of loop cuts. And the same thing again. Take the middle and drag it in. Okay, so it already looks you know better just having did I drink my tea? I did. <clears throat> just having a couple of them. It just gives a bit of added detail. As I say, the likelihood is we're going to have to cube project. But, you know, it seems to be working all right, actually. 
so yeah that's 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 what I did there um and then you're gonna you might as well repeat similar things up we'll do another we'll do a different one um because there are lots of different things so let's do another one here but let's do something slightly different um what do I want to do? Uh, what do I want to do different? Let me have a quick peek at that again. What else did I do? Oh, sometimes I did a double, but mainly I just kept doing the same thing. That might be a separate thing. Okay, um, let's just do a thick. What are we on? Five minutes. Yeah. So shift right click. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it here. You do it where you like. We're just going to build a quick into the wall house and shift a mesh cube scale it up uh, and we might as well head into top view and then just rotate that so it's nice g y bring it forward and uh, that and then s z we'll drag it down on the z axis as well and we'll have it start there s z g z Maybe we'll have it coming right from the top as well. Let's have a, let's have a butchers. Let's get in nice and close. GZ. Bush. Lovely. And then we'll just take it back. And because we're in local coordinates, it's going the way we, we expect it to go. All right. Okay. And can, uh, all transforms. Apply all your transforms, of course. Adequate bevel. Even though we've applied transforms, it's not worked so we just need to select the edges that are going to be visible which are these guys and these guys and these guys and then just control B and then just bevel them a little bit that'll do nice nice okay we're gonna want the window I suppose can't use front view anymore because we've moved so I'm just gonna put uh, we can get away with quite a few polygons, uh, faces here and loop cuts. So let's do uh, 10. Let's type in 10. 10 loop cuts. And we'll put something here and something there. And then we'll use these middle bits as the windows. Let me just check. Perfect. Okay, okay. So. Uh, I quite like them rounded, so I'm going to put three there, three loop cuts there, three loop cuts there, three loop cuts there. You get the gist. Uh, this is so we can get a bit of curvature. And then we're going to select the middle one of each of these. And then we could use proportional editing, but it never seems to work well in this situation. I'm just going to bring those up and... Then we want these two, and these two, and these two, and these two, and these two. GZ. There she blows. Okay. And uh, let's select. Uh, you know what? That's probably the easiest way to do it. Not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, but that, not that. Okay. And then I'm going to. Um, inset so by pressing I and then I'm going to extrude backwards and then I'm going to press X to delete them and then we might as well just put a little frame around each of these windows so let's just select these loop cut uh, these loops and not that one damn it and then just press E and we'll extrude forward a bit bosh okay let's have a look I mean, we could do more with that. Hang on, have I deleted the side? When did I do that? Oh, I better fill that. So I need to uh, select edge mode, double click to get the loop, and then press F. And then all is well. Um, yeah, we might, might be on. Nick, nine, quickly. Okay, let's just put, I don't know, uh, let's just put a, 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 a loop cut here. And then we'll just bevel that. And then we will extrude ES. 
and if it doesn't quite work just press uh, S Y to oh, no 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 forget that right go back to this point and then select individual origins uh, E S and then we just clearly gonna need to grab these front faces of this this extrusion uh, is that all of them no don't need that Nick oh don't be silly shift do not forget to shift and then just bring those uh, I'll go to top view because obviously the axis is all over the place so I'm just gonna bring it forward so that it kind of matches how's that look did I not extrude extrude Nick that would help okay why on earth burning box center let's try that E not a clue not a clue why it's doing that maybe someone can tell me in the comments but I just had to bring it down okay I mean that it doesn't need a great wood oh, 11 minutes let's just quickly finish this Nick quickly finish it um, just with a dodgy bit of decoration put loop cut uh, about there and then just select that one that one that one that one press E and leave it at that bit of decoration bosh okay cool um, yeah well the next time I come back I'm going to have done this a few more times um, to, to these as well so I'm going to put some more of these little bits of wall decoration and chunky extrusions but you've seen how I do it just do the same thing to a few of them maybe leave the top one but do that one do that one and finish off that one don't do anything to that one because that's the front wall all right jubbly i'll see you in the next one bye